said, hurry up, I've got a client at 12. Oh, I can look after Maxie if you want, not got any appointments. And Gran's got me pen in the stock room. Next time I'm going by Hovercraft. Where's Sarah? Oh, she's still in Milan. We were sat at the back, so every time the plane lurched, all these heads bobbing about. What, what do you mean? What sort of a... Chucked a tanty in the airport and wouldn't get on the plane. And I'm thinking, we have no right to be up in the air. This is madness. She wouldn't get on the plane? No, well, she was on in an r -ing. You know what she's like, alone to herself. Bet she hooked up with some sleazy bloke. Are you kidding? No sane bloke could touch her with a barge pole. And so moody. I mean, worse than when she was a teenager, and that's saying something. Did she say what was up with her? Sometimes, Kylie, it's better not to know. Oh, well, um, Max is feeling a bit under the weather. Do you mind just keeping an eye on him for a bit? Oh, back to reality then, Gail, eh? Holiday well and truly over. Oh, this is new, talking about yourself in third person. Can't wait to see my annex. It looks lovely from the outside. But I do love a bay window. Mm, come see for yourself, then. You've done me proud. It's so chic. Good. Glad you like it. It's fabulous. I want it. And tough. Gran, can't you get a shed and let me live in it? <laughs> Why don't you shove me in the dog kennel and I'm done with it? Sounds like a plan. Do you know what would look really good in here? What? One of those raised platform things. I could put the bed on it. Why don't we stick a plunge pole on the roof and I'm done with it? It's really lovely. I know I'm going to be happy here. Really? you got to be kidding me. Uh, what are you doing here? Look, let's just try and be civil, shall we? Well, what do you want? Well, um, I was wondering, as, as I am, Max's gran, if... Oh, no, no, no. Forget about it. If I could just see him once a week or something, once a fortnight, even. You're not going to make me see Callum again, are you? Of course not. I, I wouldn't make you do anything. Good, because I hate him. He's not my dad anymore. I know, sweetheart. But I'm still your gran. And you're all I've got left. No. Some mornings I wake up and I have no idea how I'm going to get through the day. But the thought of seeing Max, that's... Well, it's what's kept me going. Are you still here? Show some respect. Marion's done nothing wrong. <sighs> Max. Come here a minute and let me talk to you. I'm so sorry. This is the last thing I wanted. Go on up to your room, son. Max, do as I tell you, please, now. He's actually scared of me. That's not your fault. No. It's your son that's done that to him. That's Callum all over, isn't it? Spreading the joy. Must be so proud. That's enough. You've been a nightmare in your time. If everybody blamed me for everything you've done around here, I'd be pariah. I wouldn't have a friend in the world. Look, I didn't come round here to cause more trouble. I should go. No, it's fine. Kylie, make Marion another brew. Or something stronger. I want a word with you. Go on. What are you waiting for?